school can be extremely expensive. And if you've ever looked at going to college or a university, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And I know a lot of you watching these videos are either in high school or in college, or maybe you're already a little bit older and you're a firefighter and you're looking to transition into something else, maybe further your education. So in this video, I wanna go over nine different colleges or universities that I like to call them firefighter friendly or first responder friendly ones that offer discounts or scholarships specifically for fire ems and a lot of times they'll include police and and other public safety workers there's a lot of stuff out there for veterans and it's i mean it's everywhere and that's a good thing i think that's positive but there's not as much stuff out there strictly for first responders so i want to cover these different schools what they offer and talk a little bit about them. Now, what I will say is a couple things. Number one, I am not the expert on scholarships. I am not the expert on schools. So if there's something that you know that I don't, leave it in the comments below. And if I get enough people commenting saying, hey, this school offers this or that school offers that, I'll make a part two to this video so that we can all kind of share this knowledge. The other thing that I was gonna say is I am not affiliated in any way with any of these schools. I'm not an alumni, I know nothing about them, I've never been to any of these schools. So everything that I'm telling you is based off what their website says. This is not my own biased personal opinion. I'm just letting you know what's out there. Maybe you'll find it helpful. Speaking of which, if you find this useful, if you find this helpful, give this video a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel. Over the last week or two, this, this channel has really started to take off. And so many of you have been liking and commenting and subscribing. And thank you so much for being so responsive. I really appreciate all your support. And again, if you find this useful, consider subscribing. So let's get right into it. The first one is Bellhaven University. Now, I had never heard of Bellhaven University up until I started doing all this research, which, by the way, I have all sorts of stuff open down here. Um, they are a private Christian school in Jackson, Mississippi. They have a little bit over 4,200 students from what I could find. They offer a 20% scholarship to first responders, so police, fire, uh, EMTs and medics, and dispatchers. So good, good for you, Bellhaven, for including dispatchers. Most people forget about dispatchers, and that is a really difficult job. Um, they, this does include volunteers in part-time, so that's another good thing, too. If you get on a department as a volunteer part-time and you're considering getting an education or getting a higher education, maybe consider Bellhaven just because they'll accept that. Some places don't. Bellhaven does. Um, you can include your spouse on this. So I think this is kind of cool because I know a lot of people that watch this channel uh, have spouses or kids that are interested in going to college after high school and are wondering if they can transfer their uh, discount or their scholarship to them. Uh, Bellhaven does allow the spouse. I don't believe they allow the kids. But again, you're going to want to call Bellhaven and check with them. I'm not a spokesperson for them. Also, uh, it says that they can the, your discount cannot be combined with other scholarships. I think that's kind of sucks because some of these other schools do allow you to combine different scholarships or uh, discounts and for, well, I don't know, less tuition. So let's see a little bit more about what they have. Who is considered a first responder? This is according to their website. Federal, state, and local enforcement personnel, firefighters, emergency medical technicians and paramedics, dispatchers, operators, and spouses who are not already enrolled in classes. Okay, so if your spouse isn't already a student at Bellhaven, you might be able to throw them on this. Um, the scholarship does not apply to the following programs. This is important. Nursing, Master of Arts in Biblical and Theological Studies, and any of our partnership programs. I'm not sure what partnership programs are. You'd have to contact them for that. So seems like a decent program. Maybe it's something you might like. Maybe it's something you should look into. I will put the link for this and all of the schools that I'll be talking about in this video down in the description below, and I'll link it directly to the page that talks about first responders. So if you're interested in this school or any of the other schools, check down below. Uh, number two, I have as Grantham University. Now, I have never heard of Grantham University until I started doing research on this, but it looks as though they are a for-profit school in Lenexa, Kansas, and they have a little over 9,000 students. Now, I will say, I don't know what the difference is exactly between a for-profit and a non-for-profit school, other than the obvious that one's not-for-profit and one's for-profit, uh, but I don't know what that means in terms of your education. I don't know what that means in terms of accreditation. It might all be the same. I have no idea. So you might want to check with Grantham and ask them about that. I don't know. Um, they offer eight-week courses, and they're all online, and you can include your spouse and your kids. Now, what I think would be cool is if you had a, a kid that was in high school, um, and they wanted to pick up some college credit early on, I wonder if you could 
Paul Grantham and let them get some early uh, college college credits, college education while they're in high school since it's all online. I don't know. I don't know if they allow that. You could uh, give them a call and find out. But let's find out a little bit specifically about what they offer. They offer $250 per credit hour tuition for undergraduate and graduate degrees. No textbook, software, or technology fees. So that's nice. Textbooks, if you haven't been to college, are ridiculously expensive. Um, software and technology fees. Schools are notorious for nickel and diming you for every little thing. A fee for this, a fee for that. Looks like they don't do that. And no cost evaluation of training and life experience for college credit. So it looks as though Grantham allows you to use some of your life experience, in other words, your job experience, and put that as credit towards your degree. So all in all, it looks like a pretty decent program. It says, am I eligible for the HEROES program? Federal, state, and local law enforcement, firefighters, EMTs, medics, U.S. civil servants, uh, U.S. licensed or certified patient care workers. I wonder what that means. I wonder if that just means nurses or who all that would fall under. Anyways, Grantham looks like a pretty good setup if this is what you're looking for. Give them a call to find out some more details, but they are, as I call them, first responder friendly. So Grantham University, check them out. Uh, number three is Faulkner University. Now, again, Faulkner is another school I've never heard of until I started doing this. Uh, they are a private Christian school in Montgomery, Alabama. It looks like they have about 3,500 students enrolled between undergraduate and graduate. Uh, they have multiple campuses throughout Alabama, and they also offer classes online. And this, in this discount is for current first responders and retirees. No spouse or kids, at least not that I could tell. <clears throat> Uh, so that's kind of cool. If you finish your career and you're retired and you were full time, looks like you can be eligible for their 25% tuition reduction for first responders. Let's see some of the guidelines. Includes law enforcement, fire department, EMS, and those retired from full time service. 25% reduction applicable to most programs. See exclusions. Okay, this is important. Offer does not apply to Faulkner Law. Okay, so they have a law school there. I didn't know that. Um, speech language pathology, curriculum and instruction, elementary education. Okay, so it looks like there's a few different programs and schools that they don't allow this to uh, qualify for. <clears throat> Standard fees apply. Um, anyone entering is a traditional student on the Montgomery campus. Okay, so if you live in Alabama, and you want to go to Faulkner University and you live near Montgomery, you cannot use this uh, uh, discount, this 25% discount, if you plan on being an in-person student. Seems kind of weird to me, seems kind of shady, but I shouldn't say shady, but it just kind of sucks. Apparently, it's mostly for online stuff. So anyways, Faulkner University, check them out. Might be something you'd be interested in. <coughs> Number four is Liberty University. Now, <clears throat> Liberty, I think, is a pretty big school. Uh, they're a private Christian school based in Lynchburg, Virginia. Now, I know I knew someone that went to I went to high school with someone that I think ended up going to Liberty. Um, and I think they do have an actual <coughs> on campus school, but it says their enrollment is about 80,000. That's huge. And I think it most of that is online. So they do have a pretty robust online education system. Their program includes police, fire, and EMS, and you have to be a current police, firefighter, or EMS, or within five years of leaving. Um, they offer a 25% tuition discount. They do the same free evaluation of training and life experience for college credit. <clears throat> okay, this is kind of cool. If you were in the military, you can combine your first responder with your military discount. It says here, if that's the case, for undergraduate, it would be $188 per credit hour. Um, for a master's degree, about $207 per credit hour. And education specialist, I'm not sure what that means or what that is, $207 per credit hour. Maybe that's some sort of specialty degree. Uh, who qualifies for the first responder discount? Police, EMS, fire, and it looks like that's it. Doesn't say anything. Oh, uh, TSA and Civil Air Patrol senior members. So if you are one of those, maybe Liberty would be a good place for you to check out. Uh, I don't see anything about family members, spouse or children. Um, but still, 
Looks like they offer a ton of different programs. They have all sorts of things listed here of programs you may be interested in based on the first responder. Criminal justice, fire administration, government, IT, <coughs> public policy, some doctorate degrees. So it looks like they offer a, a ton of stuff and a 25% discount. And again, if you're military, apparently you can combine those two together to get a pretty good tuition rate. So check out Liberty University. Again, the link will be in the description below. Next is Western Governors University. Now, I feel like I see commercials for Western Governors University all the time. They're the ones with that owl. Um, they have something a little different. They don't do a direct discount. What it looks like, well, let's talk about the school first. It is, they say they are a private school based in Salt Lake City, Utah, about 120,000 students. That is huge, uh, mostly online. So from what I could find, it looks like they have different satellite campuses in different states. I live in Ohio. Apparently they have one here. I'm not sure if you can go take classes in person in addition to online or if it's just strictly online, but I know they really tout and push their online programs really hard. Um, this scholarship is just for you. It can be combined with other scholarships and it looks like they have a ton of programs to choose from as well. So let's talk about this scholarship. Um, this scholarship is worth up to $2,500 and can be applied to any of WGU's bachelor's or master's degree programs in business, IT, K-12 education, or healthcare. So that seems like it's pretty broad. Looks like there's lots of stuff you can apply that $2,500 to. Looks like there's a limited number of scholarships. What that number is, I don't know. Um, degree programs, scholarship policies. Okay, I'll put the link down below. And if this is Western Governors is something you're interested in, uh, they have all sorts of information. I mean, this, there's tons of links on this page of different stuff, common questions that they'll answer. But Western Governors offers a $2,500 discount to firefighters, EMS, public safety. Uh, next is St. Louis University. Now, St. Louis University is a school I actually have heard of um, before doing this. Uh, they are a private research university in St. Louis, Missouri. Looks like they have a little bit over 12,500. Apparently they also have a campus in Spain. So if you're in Spain watching this and you want to get into fire, I don't know if it applies to the Spanish campus or not. Um, but this particular uh, discount and special rate is only for their school for professional studies. I'll talk about that here in a little bit. Um, this includes police, fire, EMS, and it does mean part-time or volunteer as well. So if you're a part-time or you're a volunteer, you can get this as well. Looks like their tuition rate for public safety is $2.95 an hour for undergrad, if I'm understanding that correctly. Uh, for any under, yep. Honorably, dar honorably discharged veterans, active duty military members, reserve members, and first responders qualify for a reduced tuition rate of $2.95 per credit hour for any undergraduate program through the School for Professional Studies. So again, doesn't look like it. you can apply it to your kids or your spouse, so that kind of sucks. Um, but let's see what online degrees they offer. Looks like they offer computer information systems, cybersecurity and data analytics could be good. Emergency management, I know a lot of you are interested in something like that. General studies, leadership and organizational behavior, nursing, RN to BSN, project management, social work, security and strategic intelligence. Okay, so it looks like they have some decent programs in their online uh categories of where you can get degrees. Um, but St. Louis University is a good school. I have heard of this. Uh, I don't I don't know anybody that's been there, but I know they do have a good reputation. So maybe check out St. Louis University. Number seven is Cleary University. Now I, again, had never heard of Cleary University until I started looking into all of this, but they are a private school and they are strictly a business school from what I understand. Uh, they're based in Howell, Michigan, and they only have about a thousand students. Uh, they offer a 50% discount. Um, it is for police, fire, EMS, and health professionals. Exactly what health professionals means, I don't know. You'd have to contact them. Um, but 50% discount is huge. That's by far the biggest one on this list. Um, and apparently they are doing this in honor of a Captain Parnell, who looks like he was a Detroit police officer passed away from COVID-19. And so they're kind of doing this as a, uh, in memory of him, this, this big discount. So looks like they offer some pretty decent programs if you're looking at something in the business world or the leadership world. Um, so this might be something you'd want to look into. 
Looks like their, their programs are online as well, not just in person. But again, you'd have to check with them. I'll put the link below. Give them a call. See what they offer. See if it would be a good fit for you. But Cleary University in Michigan. Uh, number eight, Amridge University. Again, I had never heard of Amridge until I started doing this. It is a private school in Montgomery, Alabama. It looks like they have about a thousand students as well, a little bit less, so pretty small school. They do something a little different. They do a tiered tuition system, it seems like. It says $250 per undergraduate credit hour, $350 per graduate credit hour, $450 per doctoral credit hour. So they offer undergrad, graduate, and doctoral programs. Uh, this is for police, fire, EMS, and corrections. So good for them for throwing corrections in. Again, those Corrections officers have forgotten a lot, and God, that would be a really tough job. Um, so, and it looks like this can all be done online, and all their degree programs that they offer are available. It doesn't look like they have sort of exclusions like some of those other schools did. So this might be a good fit for you. Um, but yeah, that's what their discount is. I don't know how big of a discount that is. I don't know what their normal tuition rate is, but it looks like you will get some sort of discounted rate um, for Amridge University. So check them out link in the description below. And then the last one, this one's really popular in the, at least I don't, I don't do anything with the police really, but in the fire circles, I see Columbia Southern stuff all the time. Columbia Southern University. I was at the IFF conference, I think it was two years ago now in Seattle. Um, and I remember they had a booth there. I've seen Columbia Southern stuff pop up a lot. I know that there's a lot of uh, fire officers out there who have gotten degrees or higher degrees or advanced degrees from Columbia Southern. I don't know anybody personally that's gone there. I know nothing about them, but they are a private, again, for-profit online school. They are based in Orange Beach, Alabama. It looks like they have a little over 20,000 students. Uh, this is similar. I don't remember what school it was at this point, but this is just a scholarship. This is not a tuition discount. Uh, and this is only for you. You can't apply it to your family. You can't apply it to your spouse, kids, anything like that. Um, honestly, this kind of seems like the worst program of all of them, which is ironic because they focus a lot on fire. Let me read you what they say. It's the Fire Scholarship. Columbia Southern University is offering two scholarships to current Columbia Southern University fire students or applicants who plan to enroll in fire-related degree programs. Okay, so there's only two of them available. The scholarships will cover up to 60 credit hours toward one online degree program. The scholarship will be applied directly to the recipient's tuition for up to three years or until the completion of the selected online degree program, whichever comes first. Textbooks are included. So that's good. Textbooks, like I said, are outrageous. Um, but if it only covers 60 hours and you're getting an undergrad degree, undergrad degrees are usually about 120 hours. It looks like it only covers half. So that's what they offer. Uh, again, if you want more information, you'd have to contact them directly. I don't know a ton, like I said, I don't know a ton about Columbia Southern, but I see them everywhere all the time. So you might want to check them out again. Again, the link for the page that I'm reading this off of directly from their website is in the description below. So I hope you guys found this useful. I hope you guys found this helpful. Like I said before, if you know of something that I don't, put it in the, put it in the comments below. Um, this entire channel is, dedicating to, is dedicated to helping the fire service, and we're all kind of one big community helping each other. So if you know about stuff, and if there's a ton of stuff that I really missed when I was doing this, let me know. I will do a part two, and I will get it out there to as many people as possible. Consider giving this video a thumbs up, giving it a like. Consider subscribing to the channel, and I will see you guys in the next video.